after I shot Zachary, I put the gun down on the piano bench. Then I went out to the kitchen to make me up a pitcher of lemonade. I was dying of thirst. My mouth just as dry as a bone. I made it just the way I like it, with lots of sugar and lots of lemon. About ten lemons in all. Then I added two trays of ice and I stirred it up with my wooden stirring spoon. Then I drank three glasses, one right after the other. <laughs> they were large glasses, about this tall. Then suddenly, my stomach kind of swole all up. I guess what had caused it was all that sour lemon. Then what I did was, I wiped my mouth off with the back of my hand, like this. I did it to clear away all those little beads of water that had settled there. Then I yelled out to Zachary and I said, Zachary, I made some lemonade, could you use a glass? But he didn't answer. So I poured him a glass anyway and I took it out to him. And there he was. And he was lying on the rug and he was looking up at me, trying to speak words. And I said, what? Lemonade? You don't want it? Would you like Coke instead? Then I got this idea that he was asking me to call for medical help. So I got on the phone and I called down to the hospital. I gave my name and address and I told them. My husband had been shot and he was lying on the rug and there was plenty of blood. I guess that's going to look kind of bad. Me fixing up that lemonade before calling the hospital. I tell you, I think the reason I made up that lemonade, I mean besides the fact that my mouth was bone dry was that I was afraid to call the authorities. I was afraid. I really was afraid that they'd see that I had tried to shoot Zachary. In fact, that I had shot him and they'd accuse me of possible murder and send me away to jail. I mean, that's what did happen. That's what is happening because here I am just about ready to get shipped on off to the parchment prison farm. Yes. Here I am, just on the brink of utter doom. Why? I feel so all alone.